Hi guys, welcome to another episode of How To Tutorials. This is Super Sam once again. And in this very episode, I'm going to show you how to reuse the post library for animation in Blender 2.80. So let's get started. I have my character in the scene, catching fun and i had also created a list of poses here in the post library named gymnastics so the aim of this video is to show you how i'm going to reuse these poses in a new scene let's go to the new scene bridget reborn and i have bridget in this new scene but first i would like to make a rig plane by deleting the keyframes I have on the rig. And also reset of course. So the rig is clean, project is standing clean, and it's time to import our poses from the previous scene. So to do this, I'll go to file, then append. I'm gonna navigate through my files until I get to the folder where my scene is, which is this, and I need files with one scene and the action folder because this is where all the actions are being stored. So gymnastics is right here, as you can see. I pen from library and I have the post library in this new scene from the previous scene. I like to pull this up so you can see clearly what's going on here. And going under this tab, under the post library, I'm gonna click on this arrow to have the list of the post libraries available in this particular scene. So I'm interested in gymnastics one because this was what we just imported from the previous scene. And you can see we have all the poses here that I showed you from the previous one. It's time to test what the poses looks like. So pose one looks like this. By clicking on this icon, I can see the pose applies to my character right away within seconds. And I have a little issue here. This character is not as tall as the character in the previous scene. So it is your duty to fine tune your pose to whatever you want it to look like. So in my case, I think I'm I'm good with this. Let's pull it up a bit. And then I'm gonna set a keyframe on that from one. So I'm going to frame two to add another keyframe. Let me add this pose in here. So more like she reaching out for um, like I said in the previous uh, post we we locked in the character is not as tall as the previous one so I can just pull this up a bit and still have the same idea and concept so select all this and then you set the key I'm gonna try what this looks like okay so I have this Pose. Set the key. You can see what's going on. And um, let me just show you what this looks like. The last one, yeah, something like this. And I can also set the key. So flipping through my keys, you can see what the character is doing. And I was able to to achieve this with just single clicks from my mouse within a few seconds. So when you add this workflow into your personal workflow too, it's going to help you achieve so many things within a few uh, period of time. So I would advise you include this in your workflow. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like the video if you like it and also dislike the video if you don't like it. And share the video. Subscribe to our channel if you've not done so. And then until next time, I'm going to see you keep your animation skills learning.
bye